Hello again. So I've just cleaned round inside under all these covers. This is the uh, the battery case, by the way, the electrics and the battery slots back there. And so I've taken the battery out and I'll replace that, no doubt. I think it's had it with it being stood for a number of years. And the, the side panel's cut off here. Um, it's just rained a little bit. I've uh, cleaned the silencer just a bit as well. And I don't know if you can see, there's a distinct variation in the colour. You can see where the side cover has gone here and this is all the old original paint and it's a lot more uh, brighter and, and nicer underneath of course. So that's the carb. Yep, yeah, I haven't touched that yet and I will take it apart and clean it and uh, throw it in the ultrasound, ultrasonic cleaner if I have to. But um, I'm going to see if I can just get this thing to run first of all, and then if it coughs, coughs and splutters, I'll, I'll I'll take the carb off and and clean it out. But one of the next jobs will be to drop or remove all the gas from the gas tank. And uh, what else have I done? I think that's it. Let me just pan round the other side. I haven't used a GoPro for close-up stuff before, so uh, this is my first shot. I usually use my iPhone for um, movies like this um, but what I've found is as I load the videos into the GoPro studio you can actually zoom in because some of those earlier scenes where I'm washing the bike um, they seem like they're miles away so uh, I was able to zoom in like uh, uh, quite a bit and it, it really brings the bike into the foreground all right so that's where we are all right speak to you again soon Okay, this is one of my little tips, little tricks for uh, cleaning alloy, um, chrome I should say, and uh, rims in particular, and silencers like this. Just take a piece of aluminum foil, aluminum foil, and kind of crunch it up, and then just dip it in water. Just get it very wet. You wouldn't think that this would work, but it actually does work really well. And then ever so gently, kind of just rub it as though it's like a cloth. Kind of rub it over the chrome work and get in the nooks and crannies. Just be careful you don't scratch it, just super light. Keep it really wet and uh, it really works quite well in not only removing the rust but laying down a deposit onto the bright work. It just feels like you're just rubbing it along and nothing's happening, but it actually is quite effective. I found the most, uh, the best results I've had are on um, chrome rims. Don't get me wrong, if, if they're beyond repair, you've had it, but something like this, obviously, <laughs> It's not going to be a show bike, but uh, it's going to make quite a difference. What you'll start seeing is you get a, like a black deposit. Keep it wet. Again, super light. Don't start digging in and scratching. I'll do a close up in a minute. I'll show you one of the rims. But uh, just to give you an idea what this comes up like, it's amazing. You know, the closer I got to this silencer, it really is just surface rust. It's absolutely nothing to worry about. I think that's it. So, it's amazing just how well these things come off just get a cloth, I'll wipe that off and see what you think. I don't think you can even see that, but how about that?
Not bad, eh? It's better than it was. Probably wouldn't have used that on a show bike or anything like that, but for this, it's absolutely fine. I mean, it's already pretty scratched anyway, but... Just zoom in. That surface rust is all gone. By the way, I'll clean all that paint up as well. The wash just cleaned it, but um, I haven't polished or touched it with any other product to make it shine a little bit nicer. So let me uh, just go around to the rim. So this is what a rim looks like. See that? Again, just surface rust, but I'll do the same treatment. And um, I just need to put the camera down. Hang on a sec. And see how that comes up. Super lightweight, you know. I didn't want to use a wire brush, uh, wire wool at all. Mm. Some of it where it gets a little grained or the rust's a little deeper. I'm just trying to be a little, I mean, at a funny angle here. Keep it really wet. See how it goes black? And has some of those deposits get on there. Sometimes it does tend to dull the chrome, so you just gotta be a little careful. Try not to press hard at all. This looks hard but it, I'm actually just running it along the surface and there's some of these rust spots they won't come out I kind of just wanted to give you the, the idea of how it how it comes out I've also added, added some um, like soap as well to this sometimes just helps with the when you're sliding along Just the first pass for now. Oops. You can see. What I'll do is I'll stick this bike on the bench at some point so I can get it up. Well, at least I'm getting a workout doing this anyway. Yeah, they should come up pretty nice. Alright, that's it for now.